I heard the cry of your baby and I run down to your hut to help. Help to kill my child? Did the child call your name? I was just trying to help. What kind of help can a barren woman like you offer to a mother? What do you know about motherhood? Oh, you want to kill another of my child? Mother! Wish. Eliza, you can call me names. Embarrass and disgrace me. My God will judge you. He will surely judge you. <laughs> My God will judge you. He will surely judge you. Where is this, your God? You were married into this house seven years before me. But look at me. I have children. Though you killed one. What have you to show of? Oh, I forgot. You have barrenness. Barren woman. Barren woman. Barren woman. Oh, God. Why me? Oh, why me? The gods of our forefathers. Why did I go wrong? Why have you put me through this disgrace, oh God? <laughs> Ima, Ima, it is your favorite dish. I took my time to prepare it for you. The aroma is said. No, 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 at least not from a barren wife. Eh, 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 Eliza, enough of your insult. Are you not barren? Are you not a wife? Now tell me, a woman who is barren and equally a wife, what do I call her? Enough, enough of that. It is not enough. This woman is a wicked woman. She has an evil plan. This afternoon, she wanted to kill my daughter and now she wants to kill me. Do you think everybody is as wicked as you? I say it's enough! Imando, I won't allow this woman to kill you. Okay, have you asked yourself why she has not been able to give you a chance since you married her? <laughs> Let's go inside. I prepared your preferred dish. <laughs> The gods of our forefathers. I have so much faced disgrace in this life. I do not deserve to be among the living. Please strike me dead. I curse this day with the tears that roll down my cheek. Eliza has caused me pain. May she and all her generation never have a better life. May they be useless on this earth because she has made my life miserable. May all her sons and daughters roam the surface of this earth without spouses. They shall also be useless because she has made my life miserable as she has abandoned my food. May all her offsprings ever be abandoned. May they be overlooked. May they be ignored. This is a time of redemption. It is a time of revival, a time to set the stage for the master's return. This is a time of redemption, 
It is a time of revival, a time to set the stage for the master's return. The vision is I keep asking myself, why would my mother do such a thing? Why would she laugh at my stepmother and disgrace her? For not having children, the fruits of the womb is the gifts of the Lord. You are correct. This is why the scripture says that people perish for lack of knowledge. My grandmother will tell me that my mother would laugh at my stepmother openly and disgrace her for not having though. children. I thank God you now know the source of the problem. God has opened your eyes for a purpose. Yes, Pastor. See, with God, nothing is impossible. As a covenant child that you are, God will never allow you to bear the consequences of your mother's sin. Amen. So it's not just about me. I have two other sisters in the same situation. And a brother who does not want to hear the gospel. We are miserable and helpless. No, sister, I do. Never use such a word as a child of God. Listen, as a child of God, you can never be helpless. You can never be miserable. Pastor, at 37, I am in no serious relationship that can lead to marriage. I have a sister that is three years older. She's still single. And my last sister, he's almost a whore. She joins from one man to the other. And now I just tell about my, 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 my only brother. Who is a drunk? There is nothing too difficult for God to do. All you need to do is raise a voice of repentance on behalf of your father's house. Pastor, I am ready to do anything that is right before God for this year to be broken. Then if you are ready, the case is settled. Because God is always looking for a man to stand in the gap. So let's trust him and believe him. There will be a change. It shall be well with all. Amen. Men seem to think I'm a football that could be played and abandoned by two years. Ekemin, do not give yourself such an impression. Everything will be fine. When? Is it when I clock 50 or 60? Oh. At the age of 40, I am in no serious relationship that could lead to marriage. You are happily married with children. Don't patronize me, please. I know. God is, is never late. Eh? You will not kill yourself. God is never late. Many that are into it are praying that they should separate them. And many have walked out. 
out of it. Why are we so frustrated? Why? Why? Oh. Why? 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 Oh, baby. So hard to come. I'm late for lectures. I feel like coming with you. And what excuse will you give to the office? Mm, I will tell them I had fever. You know, that's really romantic, but I'm not going to let you do that. So you go prepare for office while I go to school. Maybe I'm missing you already. Take care of yourself. Go and dress up. It's all right. Bye bye. I go. I'll see you when I come back. Bye. Go. Bye. Sweetie, I'm fine. What kept you so long? My younger brother took ill, so we had to rush him to the hospital. I uh, see. Uh, is that supposed to be a treat to you? Of course, no. I cannot trade this date for anything. That's right. That's right. So, uh, which hotel do you want to take this? Let's see. Trinat Hotels. Trinat Hotels. I love that. You love good things. Wow. I should love good things. Yeah, I'm gonna spoil you with good things. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. This final prayer point, I want us to go on our knees and put our two hands on the earth. Let us contact with the roots as we Come in contact with our roots. Let's begin to pray against every divination, every enchantment, whatever the enemy has put in place to thwart our destiny as a people, as a family, that today they should be disappointed in Jesus' mighty name. Open the mouth and begin to pray. It's a serious matter. Open the mouth and begin to pray. Father, whatever the devil has placed, Lord God, you want to thwart the destiny of your children. Today, by your power, we come against it in Jesus' mighty name. Father, whatever they are programmed to affect them in the future, today we say, such disappointed in the mighty name of Jesus, because we know your prayer prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Sir, thank you so much for all your prayers. All thanks will return to God. I want you to believe that all is well with you. Amen. Only God has the answers to our problems. Today, He has set your family free. Amen. And you are free indeed. Amen. Go home and celebrate God, for He has broken the yoke of bondage. By the blood of Jesus Christ, who died to save us from our sins. Thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless you, too. This is a time of redemption. It is a time of revival. A time to set the stage for the Master's return. This is a time of redemption. It is a time of revival. Attempt to set. Man, what's the meaning of this? Mr. Man, what are you doing with my babe? Who is your babe? Hey, hey, come on. Talk to me. I said, what are you doing with my babe? Hey, who is this guy? Hey, come on. In a, How can I help account. you? Don't waste my time. I am not here for you. She's not going to anywhere. In a, get out of the car. She's not going to anywhere. You, you, you can't do nothing. You get me right? You can't do anything. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, my Lord. Whatever I am now, it is by your grace. Many are dying, many are perishing. Whatever I am now, it is by your grace. Hey, do you always like seeing? Whatever I am now, it is by your grace. It's like you are so happy. I have reasons to be happy and be grateful to God. So, what is the good news like? Okay, let me guess. You've been promoted at your workplace? No. You've been made the choir director in the church? No. Okay, I guess I know. Is Mr. Wright in the corner? Not yet, he's on the way. Okay, tell me, what is the good news like? Can't I share in your joy? Oh, sure. Well, every man has a path. And Jesus has taken care of my past. I mean, I am now a born-again Christian. What do you mean here? We've been singing in the church all these years. Having a relationship with Jesus Christ is not connected with activities in the church. Remember the rich young ruler in John's Gospel? He knew the law, but he never knew the Lord. What I mean is, you must choose to accept Jesus Christ into your life. Edu, I do not miss church activities. I worked in different departments in the church, so I do not really understand what we are talking about here. See, salvation does not depend on church activities. I appreciate your sermon. Thank you. So how about the salvation matter? Oh, we discussed that in the church. Where are you coming from? I do not like the latest developments. You keep late nights and do only what you choose. It is not good for you. Do not fracture your future. Big sister, shouldn't I visit my friends again? I can take care of myself. I'm a big girl. I am not saying you should not visit your friends. But you even sleep out and you tell nobody. Last night, I decided to spend the night in the hostel with my friends. Like I said, I can take care of myself. Amen. I love you. You're my sister. But there's someone who loves you much more. He is the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In Romans 5 verse 15, the Bible says, He died for all. That those who live should no longer live unto themselves. Big sister. I go to church almost every Sunday. It's not about going to church. It's about what you choose to do with the Lord no, Jesus Christ. I, I really appreciate you for accommodating me all these years. And I understand all these signs you're giving me. I see you're tired of me. No. And the best thing for me to do at this point is to leave. You're getting it wrong. Excuse me. life to Christ in every nook and cranny of this town. Yet at this age, you are not married. And you think I want to ruin my life like you. Excuse me. I'll come pick the remaining stuff. Okay. Come back. Amen. Come back. Come back. I'll go away. I must make sure I pull all of them down. With this dress, all eyes shall be on me. The two pack shackles of all time. Uh -huh. All eyes on you. Just check. Mm -hmm. How will it be on me? Very tempting. <laughs> Very attractive. Oh, you can say that again. Mm. Why don't you start with the choir master? Destroy him. And make him feel sorry for himself. Oh, that's hypocrite. Oh, I will get him. He won't be a difficult target. I can handle him after all. 
I have dealt with great men. I trust you. And whom have you reduced to nothing? Pastor Efan. I want that praise and sin is in heaven, so he too can fall for a woman. Is he a dead wood? <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, come in. Hi, girls. Hi, Angel. You know me? How are you doing? Hey, 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 hey! Stop patronizing me and keep your greetings to yourself. I thought you don't have to share with us anymore. So tell me, what brings you here? You're wrong. <laughs> I love you much more now. Hey, 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 I just said enough is enough. God loves you. He cares about you. In fact, he's interested in your life. Peace. Peace. Come to think of it. If you drop dead now, where will you be? Because after death comes judgment. And you don't okay. to have ears. My ears. Okay. Where is Inem? She's the person I came to see. What? Inem, what are you doing? Girls, did you invite this lady? Did I say lady? Woman! What are you doing here? I came to see you. I have not seen you for a long time. Really? Yes. The last time I checked, you threw me out of your house. I did not misunderstood me. Who directed you here? Please get out. Inem, I love you. Excuse me. Jesus loves you. I thought as much. Your consolation for not being married at this age. Yeah. My boyfriend will soon be back. Get out. I know. Go! Jesus loves you. Get out. I've seen how much he loves you. Now it's hot, baby. <laughs> well, Sister Grace, I really appreciate your concern. Honestly, I must say, I appreciate the way you are working in the house of God. Doing one or two things in the house of God, but I tell you, God is more in... Yeah, afternoon, God bless you. God is more interested in your personal relationship with Him. Where do you place God in your mind? Colossians 3.23 says, Yeah, God bless you, God bless you, brother, welcome. Colossians 3.23 says, Whatever you do, do it as unto the Lord, but not unto man. I don't know if you are following me now. Yes, so you must look at it. Think about it. It's beyond the services we offer. No, it's beyond just attending church programs. Just think about it. It's well with you. It is well with you. A time has come to set our hearts. Prepare the stage for the Lord. Raising his banner high, declaring his will. A time has come to set our hearts. Happy birthday, sister. Good. Good afternoon. Come in. Thank you. I'm wondering if we have met anywhere. No, I I wouldn't think so. My name is Ediomo. With me here is Edith. He is a staff of the Incorporated Gas PLC. You're welcome. Thank you. How may I help you? Well, I've offended you. That is why I invited my friend here to come with me to your house. Sir, I do not understand. Could you please go straight to the point? Where did we meet for the offense? Well, the, the issue is your sister in him is living with him. What? You? You take woman into your house's back that you do not know? Well, I understand how you feel. He feels guilty too. That is why he has come here to apologize. Please, I'm sorry. I never knew she ran out of your house until yesterday. I don't blame you. The blame goes to my sister that I've been sharing the saving grace of Jesus Christ with. But she has rejected the word of God and said she could choose to disgrace herself. I can imagine what she has made of herself. <laughs> well. What appears naturally as a bad news has got an interesting twist. Your sister, in name is now a new creature. 
she has accepted Jesus Christ as her personal Lord and Savior. In fact, she sent us here to ask for your forgiveness. In them? Um, yeah. Born again? Really? She is. Okay. I forgave her the day she left my house. In that case, could you please give us an appointment where we come here again with your sister? Who? In them? Um, let her stay where she is. I have had enough. Your sister? Is now a born again Christian. Or she needs your forgiveness. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive her. She feels guilty. And we want to come back, but she does not know whether you'll accept her. She says you're like her mother now. A good mother cannot throw away her child because she has fell. In this instance, I choose to be a bad mother. Could you please leave? Excuse me. Could please give me a call. Thank you. Please, let her be. I have had enough. I do not want to have anything to do with that ungrateful girl. After all they have done for her, she has paid me evil for good. Sister, I do. As Christians, we must learn how to forgive one another in spite of the circumstances. This is one of the challenges that we must face as Christians. See, we are serving a forgiving God. Therefore, we must learn to forgive one another. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please, I am sorry. Please, oh, please. please forgive me. I am sorry. Please forgive me. It's okay. I forgave you with my heart. I wish you have your permission to say something. Go ahead. Because I need your help and understanding. I'm sorry to say that Inem is pregnant. What is my truncated speculative? Huh? I mean my truncated speculative analogy and Assume Ms. Ms. Dimenio aggrandizement. What about the Kampa Raza? Eh? And even something like uh, 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 something I learned when I was abroad. Eh? Eh? This is what I was taught by Aristotle that you used to play like this. I take this one. <laughs> Tell me, uh -huh. you resemble Aristotle. See, today I'm killing you. Pastor, I am surprised at the angle that this matter is taking. Sister Edu, you have good reasons, I know. But when two people of the opposite sex maintain close contact, pregnancy is a natural consequence of such a relationship. That is why teenagers and youths and singles must abstain from sex because sex is a mystery that is based on understood in marriage all right i quite agree with you pastor i quite agree with you uh, okay, please, uh, but i would like to disclose to you that uh, edith has decided to marry him glory may god grant him the grace to keep to his promise amen but um, meanwhile tell him and edith to see me tomorrow during counseling. I will, Pastor. God bless you. I will. Excuse me, Pastor. Yeah? Please, I'll see you later. Because there's something very important I would like to discuss with you. The pleasure is mine. <laughs>
Bye bye. Thank you. Do have a good stay. God bless you. You forgave her. If it was me, she would have regretted ever coming into this family. I know, but God expects us to forgive one another. The truth about the matter is, the day she left this house was the day she took her life into her. And there are wolves. It would have been wrong for us to shut the door of her heart against her. She should have known that better. She took a deep plunge, but a child of much prayer cannot be lost. That is why we are different. I don't know how to pray. And nobody, I repeat, nobody should stress me with useless prayers. Prayers that could be avoided. I have my own problems. Prayer is the solution to all problems. That someone should go to Inem. She needs it at the moment. Inem is now a born again Christian. <laughs> Inem, born again? Wonder shall never end. Big sins. See, God is standing at the door of our heart. He is knocking. Will you open for him to come here and dine with you? Edu, please, let me have my peace. I'm just coming from a journey. I need to rest. Big sis! What? There's another dimension to this story. What do you mean? His name is two months pregnant. Pregnant?! Sorry, please forgive me. I do not blame you. If our sister had chosen the path of honor, the scenario would have been different. Well, this is her big sister. She was on course in Abuja when all this happened, so you can understand her feelings. Big sis, we are very sorry. We could have taken a dignified path to where we are now. We are very, very sorry. Who names pregnancy? Goes beyond apologies. Well, I can assure you we have a sense of responsibility. Now that she's carrying a baby, why do you have to return her to us? Well, sister, I know you feel very upset the way things went. Uh, but my friend here has proposed to marry him, your sister. Marry? Yeah. Big sis. We have gone through this before. But I can't get there without your consent. Stop being sentimental. Let's face the fact. Are you ready to marry the man whose child you are carrying? I love you, name. And in a desperation to retain each other. As soon as I noticed that she was pregnant, we did the court marriage. What? <laughs> This is a time no, of no. redemption. Are you it is problem? a time of revival. A time to set the stage for the master's return. May she and all her generation never have a better life. May they be useless 
on this earth because she has made my life miserable. <laughs> Hello? Yeah? Which hospital? Are you sure? Ah? Huh? Joseph! Open the gates! Open the gates! Don't have to. How is she? Please, you just have to be patient. Everything is going to be all right. Are you sure? She's going to be fine. Though I'm sorry she lost the pregnancy. Doctor, please! Whatever it takes or what I want is alive. Excuse me, please. Oh, God. Jesus' wow. name. Father. Show us mercy. In the multitude of your mercy, Lord, give us a testimony. God, preserve her life. God, remember the prayers of the past. Oh, God, in Jesus' name, God, have mercy. God, show us mercy. God, answer us. You are the healer. God, in the multitude of your mercy, remember us. Amen. God, a child of much prayer is not lost. Amen. God, have mercy. Amen. What is it? I'm just thinking of how God miraculously healing him after your prayers. To him be the glory. If God answers prayers that speedily, why has he not answered our prayers? Look at our brother. God is no slack concerning his promises. As for them, a child of much prayers cannot go for an iniquity. He will return to the Lord. Let me answer speedily. I'm tired. Don't worry. God can. Today, not today. I go show her baby. I go teach her lesson. Other women don't marry finish. Now my own husband, she can't set eyes on. Where are you? Imagine. What is it? You go into the house like that? 
No be here they find you. Nada your sister. So may you come up for my wife. Please, what has she done? No ask me stupid question. Where she did? Where you they hide her? Where she did? If I catch her. Say that. Yes. Ma Julie, wait, I, wait. Oh, I mean, prostitute. Don't let me get my hands on her. That prostitute. All her made on my finish. Now my own husband. I want to teach her lesson. So I, next time when she see another woman's husband. Magic product. Wait, wait, leave it. Wait, wait, leave it. Leave leave it. it. I Come here. Yeah, okay. Leave, leave her house. <laughs> Money, I know get. School, I know go. Why can't she leave my husband for me? Woo! I tell me no. Woo! Leave my husband. Husband snatcher. Prostitute. Hot dog. See her. Yes. Woo! 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 Husband snatcher. Husband snatcher. Dog. Prostitute. If I come here next time, heads go rope. I shouldn't have gone out with the man, but the pressure was too much on me. Big sister, are you saying that you actually went out with Julie's husband? He didn't desire to be let us, but we have a right to say no. Because life is a product of choice. I know what I want to make out of my life. It's only that I don't know how to compare circumstances to work in my favor. I need a man in my life. God knows I need a man. He didn't create us to be alone. It's okay. It's okay. God knows the end from the beginning. He holds the key of life and death. Allow him to sit on the steering of your life and he will drive you to an expected end. I'm tired of running in circles while others are flying on Eve's wings. God loves challenges. By this action, you have passed the ball to him. And because he refreeze all matches of life, this one will not end except in your favor. God, please have mercy on me. Yes, a broken and contrite heart, he will not despise. What you need now is to build your faith with the word of God and to bond with people who fear God. God, please forgive me. I did it out of ignorance. Most people do it. Most married men believe that going out with single women is a sign of affluence. The days are evil. Out of immorality, like fornication and adultery, having rebranded. Some call it affair, others call it a flea. But uh, thank God, the standard of his word standard sure. They sold their sins and persist in iniquity shall die. How do you mean? Everything must produce according to its kind. And since the law of harvest demands that people should reward the soul. So, if you are a young girl and you are going with another man's husband, at the appointed time, when you want to settle down, the devil, Satan, that wicked pair master, will raise another young woman who will not allow her to have peace. Now I know better. Now that I know these facts, I would like to deal with my past. I rejoice with you, praise God, because many profess Jesus, but they are not ready to confront their lives of sin. Can you imagine, imagine a young woman who stays with her boyfriend and will leave that place to church on Sunday to lead worship? From service, she will return to a life of sin. God have mercy on us. Besides, every man or woman that an individual sleeps with brings him or her under a yoke and this is how people destroy their future yeah so how is your schedule this weekend will you be free on friday how about saturday 7 pm okay is that okay by you okay all right all right, we meet then. Thank you very much. So, how's everything then? All right, all right. My regards to everybody. How is Inem and her husband? Inem and her husband are fine. Inem's case and um, Edith have opened a new chapter in my life. Oh. I'll explain myself. Okay. Do you know you played an incredible role in resolving a name's case? Oh, that's history now. 
Well, I think for me it was a permanent connection. You know what? No. You are safe disposition. And you are unassuming presentation. Have endeared you to me. And uh, I love you enough to keep you the rest of my life. And because Christians should not play a kind of trial and error relationship. That's why I'm asking, please, Edu, will you marry me? Is coming. May she come. Make that prostitute come. I could deal with him well, well. Angela, good morning. Now, what's good about this morning? Ma Julie, please respond to my greetings. You said na ma, you be. I'm sorry. I don't mean to insult you. Ma is a mark of respect among my people. What are you savvy about respect? You respect me. You respect me. You can't go come on, go nag life with my husband. You savvy the pain. You know this of my head. Please. I'm not here to fight you. Bring down your voice because people are watching. Eh, hey, hey. Everybody come on. Come say this old woman. Make you come beg and make she leave my husband from you. Please, I've come to ask for your forgiveness. Sorry for yourself, you prostitute. Yes. Hey. This is not fair. This lady has humbled herself and apologized to you. Why can't you let her be? She is a woman and deserves some respect. Go for me back. Tell her she go find her own husband. Oh. Eh, if not forgiveness, you come take. Take her. But no go near my husband again. No. Or oh, you could kill me be that. Okay, Mini. Go to your apartment. Don't stand here and allow this woman to humiliate you any longer. Ooh, I don't blame you. You don't see cheap fish with that. Hey, woman, don't insult me. I cannot stand here and watch you humiliate a woman that has a conscience. Hey, you know for try and you know for try and don't go one house. Make sure you don't find out my husband. Kill him not, eh? Dude, did you notice the striking difference between those two women? Which of the women? I mean, those that were fighting the other day. Oh. I mean, one was elegant, while the other was very haggard. And you know what? The irony is that the one who was elegant turned out to be so humble. I have come to know, contrary to popular opinion, that all the arrogant people I have known in my life are very poor. Dude. I'm interested in that lady. Which of them? Come on. What kind of question is that? Would I be interested in that nagging neighbor of yours? I mean, the pretty lady, of course. Hey, Kimini. Is that her name? Yeah. Hmm. Man, she looks so pleasant, gentle, and amiable. <clears throat> well, she's a decent person. I know two of her sisters. They are very good people. I agree with you. You know why? It takes someone with a godly conscience to do what she did. I mean, to be that patient, enduring, and most of all humble. Despite the show of shame by your neighbor, she kept on apologizing. Julie, she knocks too much. It surprises me that a man will live under the same roof with a quarrelsome woman like her. I am not surprised that her husband is beginning to go after other women. Not only is her environment untidy, but her character. Gosh, it's an apology. You know what surprises me? How that lady submitted herself willingly to verbal assaults and thoughts from a near crazy illiterate woman. I mean, that action demands commendation, especially in these days of human liberation, you know? Germs. Shoot. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is that why you came home in search of a wife? You can say that again. And besides, you know me. 
I still don't appreciate marriages of mixed nationalities with its uh, attendance differences. Well, I wish you well in your venture. Mm -hmm. But you know, in Nigeria, you have to shine your eyes. Oh well, that's one thing I know that sometimes you know you may be looking for something at distant places. Why they may be very close to you. And this other thing also is that I've been praying to God about this issue of getting a wife. And I know my pastor and elders are praying to God to, to direct my feet into his will. You're going philosophical, you know. I am not a deeply religious person. But if you think this setting will produce a long-lasting relationship, so be it. All I know, dude, is this. That lady has got all the qualities I need in a wife. Whatever. Back to her game. <sighs> Guy, play. It's not a loving matter, my brother. My I'm brother. I'm worried. I'm worried. If I survive the storms, you will stand taller. So just relax your mind. God is in control of this situation. I know. I know that God is in control. Uh huh. You know what? what? The last time I visited her, mm. she was very nice to me. But I need a categorical yes in this matter. <laughs> That's what I need. Mm, how about no? Ah, don't they go there. Don't they go there. I'm not growing any younger. It's all right. Uh, each day, you know, I'm adding to my age. If she's yours, one day she'll have a change of mind. So let's wait till that day. You know, uh, it, 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 the thing is getting too long. As an issue. You know, she, I don't know. I think uh, you will join your eyes and you remind me of you. But that is why I say, let's keep on trusting God that one day there will be a change. Huh? You will help me in prayers also. I will. Because I've been praying, I've been praying, and I'm really worried. It's all right. She should actually make a statement on it. Wow, I can't wait for that day. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. You pray for me. I will. I, 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 will. I really I appreciate I will. what I'm saying. I really oh. appreciate your concern. It's all right. It's matter. <laughs> that your elder sister has given her life to Christ. Your consistency in prayers has really paid off. I am really happy. You thank God for it. Pastor. Yes? There is another matter. What is it, Sister Edo? Do you know Ediomo? Ediomo? The gentleman that came here with your sister's husband? Yes. I hope he is okay. He is, but there is more to it. What is it? He has asked for my hands in marriage. Malibu <laughs> Sendalawa. So, are you saying that is how God has rewritten the past? Honestly, I don't know. Now tell me, what is your heart saying? When I accept the idea, I have peace. But when I raise objections, I get really troubled. In fact, I am confused. No, sister, I do. You don't need to be confused. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead. Don't let anyone or situation force you into it. If the Spirit of the Lord says proceed, don't waste time. Please, don't punish the man. Yeah. I gotta be honest with you. About what? You see, I uh, I can't get that lady coming out of my mind. <laughs> Come on, that is good trouble. Oh be serious for <laughs> once. You see, I, I need a wife who fears God and and knows right from wrong. Come on, James! That lady slept with somebody's husband. That's so what, guy? I mean, I'm looking for an angel for a wife. In the days of uh, ignorance, I also made my own mistakes. Uh, you know what? I, I, she, she presented herself as a woman with deep, good character, man. In fact, she combined a good nature with an enigmatic beauty. Come on, James. Let me ask you. 
I hope your desire to marry while on this trip has not made you a desperate person. Far from it, guy. Listen, your premise is false. One thing I believe is this, that when a child of God, you know, desires something earnestly and prays sincerely about it, then God creates opportunities for those desires to come close to the child or for the child to come in contact with the desires. Then the rest is left for the choice the individual may make. Really? <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's Pastor James talking. <laughs> it's not a matter of titles, bro. Wisdom is profitable to direct. That's what I mean, you know? You surprised me that despite all your level of exposures, you still find it very important to allow God into everything you do. It surprises me more that a, a man who was created by God has the audacity to think that he can go through life without recourse to that same God that created him. I mean, the God who knows the end from the beginning, man. So, can I ask you a last question? How is God applicable here? Oh, there. Yeah. For one, God has through a community taught us how important it is to be peacemakers. That's it. See, I think that girl has an intimate encounter with Jesus Christ because it is only somebody who has a godly conscience that can do what she has done so far. <laughs> James, James. Well, if you're really persuaded, then come on, man. You better start talking. How are you talking, bros? That's my man. My man. <laughs> oh, James. Hello. It came in right? Right. Alright. My name is James. Good to meet yes. you. Uh, you will not recognize me, but my friend Jack stays in the same compound as you do. Oh, really? Sorry, sorry, please. I, I, I don't know. Are you in a hurry? I, I would like to have a word with you in a more conducive place than this. Oh, two minutes. Two. One, please. I still don't understand what you mean. Okay, let me say this. I was opportune to witness the encounter between you and Mad Julie the other day. Oh, that's one incident I would like to forget in life. But that is one incident in life that God used to advertise you. You see, when we obey Him, we attract His blessings. And I must commend your determination that day to do the right thing. I still don't understand you fully. I hope you are not insulting me. No, no, no. That's the last thing that would cross my mind to do. Just that your humility and your positive self-awareness combines with your beauty to make you irresistibly upstanding. What do you mean? Are you born again? Yes, I am, by the grace of God. God has been using my sister Edu to draw me closer to him. So you see, that day you exhibited that you were a peacemaker. And you know the Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Peacemakers are those who fear God. And you know what? For a long time now, I've been looking for a God-fearing woman. What do you really want from me? Kemi, I love you so much. Please, will you marry me? Please, don't disturb me. about him. Humble yourself before God and let him direct you. They do. That's one embarrassing secret he knows about me. Don't you think that he will use it against me in future, knowing that I went out with a married man? Why do you underestimate what God can do?
What if he goes back to US and doesn't come back? After raising my hopes. Big C's. Not James. I believe he loves you. <laughs> I've prayed about him. I have peace. But what if? Does he love me? I came in. I love you so much. Please be my wife. <clears throat> I'll go prepare dinner for my husband. I need to look this way. I promise to you, I'll come back. I'll come back for you. How oh, I wish you don't have to go now. You could have waited to the end of the month. I wouldn't have loved to go. I would love to stay. But then, I gotta go. My annual leave is over. Now, we wouldn't want me to be sad, would we? We need the money for the wedding. I'll miss you. I know. But I'll miss you more.
and daughters roam the surface of this earth without spouses. They shall also be useless because she has made my life miserable. What are you doing here? What is that in your hand? Ah! Cocaine. When you come to the crossroad, I do not know what to do. The only right thing to do is to look up to Jesus. Udeme, you're my brother. Edu, spare me your preaching. Udeme. I say spare me your preaching. Let me live my life no, the way I want. I cannot, you're my brother. I've been praying for you. God is ready to answer. If only you will give him the chance. Udeme, Edu. Jesus loves you. Listen, I don't need your prayers. Pray for yourself. Let okay. me live my life. No, you cannot. You are my brother. Udeme, come. Jesus loves you. Jesus is the way. You. I've Udeme. warned you before. Solution is in stop Jesus. Approaching me. Udeme, stop there and think. Jesus is the way. As she has abandoned my food, may all her offsprings ever be abandoned. May they be overlooked. May they be ignored. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cancel every curse against my family. I cancel every curse against my family, against my sisters, against my brother. In the name of Jesus Christ, every name of God. And the Bible says, the Son of Man shall set you free. You shall be free indeed. We are free. We are free from every curse. We are free from every curse. I am free from every curse. I break every curse. The Bible says, there shall be no temptation against me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cast every temptation and every vocation. I cast every curse against me and against my family. In the name Time to set the stage for the master's return. This is a time. Okay, sir. Put all the calls across. And later today, let me know the feedback, huh? Yes. It came in. Sir. I can't believe that you can be that stupid to fall into such a trap. How can a man? Propose to marry you today and disappear the next day. You still hope he will come back. So I believe he's coming back because the Lord brought us together. It came in. You are one of the best staff I have in this office. And at 40, you should not be a fool. Anyway, there's somebody I would like you to meet. Who must that be? Big bros. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Jerry. Big bro. Jerry Jerry. <laughs> Is this your face? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. Glad to be back home. This place is fine. Yeah, welcome. Hey, Kim. Sir. So. Meet my brother, Jerry. He just returned from the state two months ago. He now stays with us here. He resides here in Nigeria. He's not going back. <laughs> he now works with an oil firm in Port Harcourt. He's not traveling again. He stays here with us. It's not going anywhere. Uh, Jerry, me take him. She's one of the best staff I have in this office. Camille, please Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, sir. <laughs> sir, please, can I go? Yeah, sure. Sure. Big <laughs> bros. <laughs> um, you like her? Oh, babe, I can say that again. This one. <laughs> I told you, I know what is best for you. Yes. That's why I needed them big, motherly, and caring. <laughs> so <laughs> all those calls I've been putting across, what do you expect? Thank you, bros. What are you doing in my house? I prefer you at least welcome me into your house and offer me a seat. I can't remember giving you my address. A desperate man's heart goes all out for his needs. Spare me your philosophy. Why are you so difficult on yourself? I've been trying to get you to see some reasons with me. What reasons? That I should forget the man I love in order to marry you? Please, forget James. 
He's not here. He's only deceiving you. Stop it! Stop it! What makes you ever think that James is ever going to marry you? He could as well be in some affair with some white lady over there. I said stop it! Come off it, girl. You're building castles in the air. You're not getting any younger, are you? It's true. James proposed to you. But he's not here now. Me, Jerry? I'm here for real. I said stop it now. Leave my house. I love you. Leave my house. Accept my proposal. And you will never be lonely in life. Leave my house. I promise to make your life like that of a princess. Ah! Leave. I love you. Leave my house. Leave my house. I don't Leave my house. house. Leave I love my you. house. Like a mobile, your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message system. After the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. I'm biscuit. Thank you. See you later. Hello? Auntie, Uncle James, I'm not heard from him. Hmm. I really think something is wrong. Okay, we're going to pray for him. I'll call you later. Bye. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good. I'm the living witness. Those who trust in him can never see shame. Indeed, now I know that every adversity has the potential for greatness if God is invited into it. I do not know what the issues of life are for you, but Calvary is the only solution to all problems. The devil is a thief, but with Jesus Christ, all stolen properties can be recovered. In fact, if you have him, you are unstoppable. Please, I want to know this Jesus like Shall you. Shall we pray? Pray for me, please. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father. Here is your daughter. Oh Lord, she desires to know you. Accept her unto yourself and give her the strength to live for you in this world. In Jesus' name. Amen. Uh -uh, what is this? Maybe you should meet your girl. Because I refused his brother's proposal. That is why he sacked me. Okay? So be it. Baby, it's me. It's me, Jerry. I promise to make you happy. I can give you a tour of the whole world. I promise to make you live like a princess. I love you. Feel my heart. I love you. My heart beats only for you. Say yes to me. Marry me. And I promise you, you have no reason to regret. Open up, I'll be right there. You mean how 
how are you? Where have you been? Why did you do this to me? I can't tell you how sorry I am, Kenny. But you see, my job took me out of the States. And I lost my phone too. I couldn't contact anybody. I can you I told you I'd return for you. Did you doubt me? I was afraid. Perfect love, they say, casts out all doubt and fear. It is a time of redemption, it is a time of revival, a time to set the stage for the master's return. This is a time of redemption, it is a time of revival, a time to set the stage for the master's return. The vision is Yeah. 